Hello everyone, I am currently sitting in the Magic Kingdom parking lot waiting for Emily to arrive. Today is a momentous day because we are here to see the new Country Bear Jamboree show. Whether we are mourning the loss of the old Country Bear Jamboree or celebrating the new life of Country Bear Jamboree, we will soon find out. But before Emily arrives, she's coming now, she should meet me in about maybe 10 minutes. I just wanted to talk a little bit how today is a very heavy day on my mentality and my emotions as well. There was a tragedy that occurred at work today. It really puts life into perspective. Your entire life can turn upside down in an instant. And it's so easy every day to think about your life. I don't want to go to work today. I'm exhausted. I am physically mentally, emotionally exhausted. Working in hospitality will take it out of you. Physically, not only today did I teach aqua fitness in the 93 degree Florida heat this morning, um, I also taught dance fitness, I also took yoga. I'm drained, but none of that matters at all. I have a job. I can go to work tomorrow. Not only do I have a job, but I enjoy my job. I have coworkers that I like hanging out with. I have friends that I can depend upon. I have a family who loves me. It takes a moment like this, a tragedy like this, to look at your own life and realize that I am so grateful today for how I'm living today, for my life today. So that is just on the forefront of my mind today as we come here to Magic Kingdom. But we're gonna move on into our normal park day now um, that will just stay at the forefront of my brain for not only today, hopefully for forever. Life can change so, so quickly. Let's go to Country Bear Jamboree. You're not ready for mine and Emily's outfits. I can't wait to show you. Right now it just looks like a white t-shirt, but there's something special. <laughs> Come with us to Magic Kingdom. We got her. Howdy, 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 howdy. howdy. <laughs> I feel embarrassed wearing this shirt without someone, but the fact that two of us are wearing it makes it so much better. This is what I wear to work. <laughs> there are also two more of these shirts that exist out in the wild. One of them's in Korea, That's one true. of them's in Boston. That's so true. Love you guys, miss you. <laughs> We're on the ferry boat. I must say, I'm not a ferry boat girl. Emily is a ferry boat girl. I always took the monorail growing up, but I can appreciate the ferry boat. You know what else I wasn't? Uh, an avid attender of the Country Bear Jamboree. Ready. The first time that I went on Country Bear Jamboree was my ranking all shows in the Magic That's Kingdom crazy. vlog. But Emily, she loves it. Love it. I'm very, very excited to see what they've done. I know they're gonna get rid of my two favorite songs because I just know it. What are your two favorite songs? The one that three little bears sing. All the guys that turn me on, turn me down. And what other one? And there was Blood on the Saddle by Big Al. Blood on the Saddle. <laughs> all around. I think that's like in another room. Okay. Okay. 
H O T T O G O. You got it. <laughs> that was a hit crime. That was a hit crime. Um, <laughs> you do it. it. Cut the camera. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey. H O T T O G O. Oh. <laughs> I needed to tell Emily, and I thought that I would tell the vlog as well. I was severely <laughs> damaged today. <laughs> Hi. So, I was having this really long conversation with someone at work. Mm -hmm. This was not a coworker, this was a guest. <laughs> and he was telling me, he was like, Yeah, I have a daughter your age. And I was like, Oh, wow, like that's awesome. And he goes, yeah, like early 30s. I said, oh! <laughs> early 30s. I think you look younger than you actually are. Well, then I go, no. And then he goes, oh, like late 20s. And I'm like, no. no. And then I tell him my age. And he goes, oh, you, you just like seem and look more mature than you are. And I'm like, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah. <sighs> It's International Dole Whip Day, brought to my attention by Emily. So we will be getting Dole Whips today, sponsored by my mother and father. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> we have to celebrate National Dole Whip Day one way or another. This is a paid advertisement. Link in bio. Happy Dole Whip. Happy, happy Dole Whip. Happy Dole Whip, Chinny. Happy Dole Whip. <laughs> Guys, it's happening. Why are the why are the policemen here? Say no, we're coming. We're coming. Wow, this is so exciting. Go ahead. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Oh, we're coming. If you leave the stroller there, I'll park it for you. We're in. Along to all the songs. Mm -hmm. I think we knew every song. Every 
every song. I think this is much better for people who are either coming to Disney, like Country Bear Jamboree was out before I was alive and I never went on it as a kid. So I don't have that nostalgia factor. So like this enjoyable for adults, for kids, for everyone. Yes, it's more Disney, just yes. like fun Disney songs. Very nice, very fun. Yeah, and before you couldn't exactly hear what they were saying or singing unless you knew the songs and you had been back That's many true. times. Now, you don't need to come yes. back many times. You just know what they're singing. Love the outfits. Yes, they very, were actually killing well. it. And Overall, I'd say eight out of 10. I think, yeah. When I did my all ranking shows in Magic Kingdom, I think this was the second to last. Right before Tiki Room. I think I put the, Hall of Presidents. The, yeah, the fact that you rank Hall of Presidents higher than Country <laughs> Bear is so offensive to me. We have to ride Hall of Presidents because it's good. For a nap. <laughs> I enjoy Hall of Presidents. It's very like uplifting for me. <laughs> I'm going to stay silent for the vlog. Okay. <laughs> When's the last time you went on? Val's birthday. Oh, really? May 11th. Okay, then never mind. I won't change her mind. And before then, like 10 years ago. <laughs> I think I've been on a total of three times, but I enjoy it. Also, here's my qualm with the Magic Kingdom itself. So, I ate before I got here, but if I didn't eat, I would be starving right now. There is no place in the Magic Kingdom where I want to eat. Like, food in the Magic Kingdom is not it. Pinocchio. Ugh. The only thing that I like here at the Magic Kingdom and that I like actively want is the chili cheese fries from Casey's. And they're not even good chili cheese fries. They're not even good, but I do like them. And when I was younger, we used to come to Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. Yeah. Food there, not it. You're good. They used to have the toppings bar, so I would go and get all the pickles. But that doesn't even exist yeah. anymore. It's so busy there all the time too. You can barely find seating. Yeah. Stay is so and oh, we should stop by Sleepy Hollow because they just changed. I, my favorite food in the Magic Kingdom, the waffles from Sleepy Hollow. They changed it to what? It's still waffles, but I think it's on a Mickey waffle now. Oh, okay. So. Maybe we'll take a stop by there. That way they can upcharge it a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Slap Mickey's face on it, call it a day. Exactly. Emily hasn't seen Tiana's without the scrim up. I have it. I'm so excited. Now, I've been on this ride. Emily hasn't. No. I will say, love it. I can never go wrong with a log flume. Wow. It's However, really pretty. it is really pretty. However, I was a little underwhelmed, but that's just me. I would go on it for sure again. I will go on it again. Yeah, I but, definitely want to go on it, but not like wait two hours. Yeah. Well, there's a virtual queue. Let's a little, see. a little underwhelming for me, but it is beautiful. Wow. I'm gonna take a picture. For sure. What I thought was that this ride was gonna be to the theme of the movie Princess and the Frog, but the ride itself has a completely different theme. Like it's its own story, which is what I didn't quite like. I couldn't follow along at some points, but riding it more than once would definitely fix that problem for me. So it's all Mickey waffles. The one that I liked was the sweet and spicy pecan one, and it had a Brussels sprout slaw on it. The Brussels sprout slaw doesn't exist anymore, but the other two look good, but I'm a, I'm a savory gal. Funnel cakes, of course. Corn dog, of course. No, I want the Brussels sprout slaw. This is literally a frenzy of ducks. They're having their meeting. They're just spawning out of the gate over there. Dinner time. <laughs> okay, so we are going back to Country Bear Jamboree because Country we picked. Oh, we picked up a friend along the way who's never been on it. Whoa. It's Michael. <laughs> Now Michael's been around since the dawn of time. Michael was my boss when I worked, and Emily. That's true. When we worked at Fireworks. Michael was the only one who made me feel like a human being. And that's why we keep him around. That, yeah, that, that's why we haven't voted him off the island yet. <laughs> that's why we love Michael. I didn't know we were on an island, so. We're always on the we're island. <laughs> Jeff Probst is here. <laughs> Jeff Probst is here watching. I love you. Please, please, 
please notice me. <laughs> Just enjoying the history over there. <laughs> Good, you know, I'm happy um, the animatronics look great, the new animatronics are in there. Really good. Pretty much what I was expecting music selection wise. Um, this is what we had to do to keep the country very well. You know what? I'll take it. I'll all right, it. all right. <laughs> Happy International Dole Whip Day! Happy Dole Whip! Ginny, happy Dole Whip! <laughs> yeah, sometimes you get the soft kind, sometimes you get the weird kind. It just happens to be the weird kind today. And it's International Dole Whip Day. You know what? I haven't had the weird thing in a while. Yeah! It is! We got the float, and I got just the soft serve. Delicious! Fun fact, I, hate, I used to actually hate Dole Whip, but Emily made me like Dole Whip. I'm sorry. Michael's favorite! Tiki Room! Front and center. He is quoting the entire show. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. He loves it. <laughs> watching Michael watch Tiki Room is like watching a kid play his favorite video game. That was so funny. Yes. Okay, got everything? Also, Michael let us know you can bring your Dole Whips into the Tiki Room. We never knew that. Um, hey! <laughs> um, this is one of the only shows that you can bring Dole Whips into because it's Tiki Room, you can bring Dole Whips. Thanks, you Michael. Scarf it down. <laughs> Rosita, it's uh, she's over in. Um, we can see her cage over at Big Thunder Mountain. But in, the queue. in in Tiki Room, what do they say? They say, I wonder what happened to Rosita because Rosita's missing. And she's at Big Thunder Mountain. Wow! Michael loves the Tiki Room more than anything in the world. There was a child behind us who kept on yelling, "Ducky, Ducky!" It was really funny. So, <laughs> <laughs> So funny, guys. <laughs> guys, laugh! Laugh! Oh, very funny. This is part of being Skylar's friend. <laughs> I'm still being filmed. Yeah, we're talking about your love for the Tiki Room. It's great. It's great. Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. I mean, it's a top tier attraction. You know, started out in Disneyland 1963. Um, and it was the first attraction that utilized audio animatronics. So, what's not to love about it? And then, you know, one year later, New York World's Fair, we had so many attractions that featured all the animatronics, and um, Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room is the one that started it all in, in Disneyland. Wow! He knows much more about the Enchanted Tiki Room than I, or Emily. That's very true. Although, I show up and I enjoy. Well, yeah, we enjoy, we sing. I like that you know the history, though. I wish yeah. I could yeah. remember of history, more. What's more historic than Liberty Square? Exactly! Yay. My favorite piece of history about Liberty Square is the roads. The brown in the middle represents the poo that people used to throw out their window into the street. That's my favorite piece. Well, what else would it be? Well, there's a debate of like, is that what it actually is? Of course it is. I don't know. Is it? Michael, what or else would it be? It be? A trail to what? It could be Paul Revere's trail. It's a trail of poo. <laughs> Do we question when your historical facts? Exactly, this is my historical fact. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Peter Pan's flight is under refurbishment. Even miracles take a little time. <laughs> Michael, do you know a fun fact about the carousel? Yeah. What? Do you, wait, do, do you want to tell me? I could. Is, is it the same fact that it's the oldest attraction in the Magic Kingdom? That's actually not true. What do you mean? attraction in Magic Kingdom is actually the Walt Disney World Railroad because Roy O. Disney, our fourth locomotive, was manufactured in 1916. This is manufactured in 1917. So a lot of people think that this is the oldest, but it's actually not. But if you do look closely at it, like look at the center, the uh, called Eagles, that's because it used to be themed to America. It was an Americana theme. Um, and then later on, when we brought it here to the Magic Kingdom, we re-themed it to tell the story of Cinderella, of course. 
Um, but yes, 1917, 1916, Royal Disney, all this uh, operating attraction in Magic Kingdom. The more you know with Michael, we need to bring him everywhere. This is such an informational vlog. You know who's gonna love it? My father. <laughs> Shout out Papa G. <laughs> We're back with assistant needed casting at the big top ticket booth. However, we're still here too late. But he has a nice job, doesn't he? Nine to five. <laughs> but we are back to see the smellifants that we missed last time. And Michael's first time, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna have to let us know what you smell. No, uh, did you watch our wafting tutorial? <laughs> <laughs> I smell it. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I smell, smell it. Yes, I smell it. I don't smell anything. Give it a second. Uh, oh, give it to me. It just smells like sweet. Here, here. It smells like a candle. Oh, I got it. It go. does smell like a candle. <laughs> what do you think it is? Look at his belly. <laughs> and his head. Yeah. No. Michael, look at him. What is he? Caramel? Yeah? Okay. Caramel what? Caramel uh, elephant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, caramel elephant. No. Strawberry? <laughs> yes, caramel covered strawberry. No. Apple. Caramel apple. All right, looks like Imagineers are need a little more work on this one. <laughs> it smells like a Yankee candle. Yeah. Next one. Smell more than last time. Guys, we smell it this time. That is a very smelly smell. It smells like? Popcorn, of course. Yes. I think it's caramel popcorn. Maybe, yeah, because it smells sweet, doesn't it? It definitely smells like butter. Also, Maybe. I smell it. This one is like in the stroller parking, so you have to sort of fight your way through. Nothing. Nothing? No, I don't smell it. Maybe they put all the scents into the other one. Oh, yes. Yeah, I smell it. I smell it. It smells sour. Very, yeah. That is not gumball. I feel gumball, but it's sour gumball. If you tell me it's gumball, it's gumball. Here's a new one we didn't see last time. I think it's chocolate covered churro. Oh, you're right. You're so right. Do you smell anything? Oh boy. Yes. What do I you smell mean? Cinnamon. I smell it now. Yeah. Uh, it does smell like churro. Yeah. That's pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. That one smells good. Yeah. New smell of it unlocked. I see another one. Also, our custodial friend isn't here today. Yeah. Do you remember his name? Yeah. <laughs> Look at our smell of Vince vlog. Derek? No. I was thinking D though. Dylan? I, I think it is something we watch it back and it doesn't start. <laughs> we should watch it back. Ooh, corn dog. That's a strong smell That one's not good. It's like the bead boozle challenge, you know, <laughs> but with your nose. <laughs> it smells like hot dog. Not kidding. Isn't that what it's supposed to smell like? Not good. I don't like that one. Ugh. Uh, it smells a little bit like weed back here, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. But here's our our last smell of it. Cotton candy? <laughs> the smell of weed is just <laughs> overtaking. <laughs> yeah? You smell it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really strong. Are you serious? Someone's cooking back there. <laughs> oh, I smell it a little bit now. Yeah. It's just like it's candy. sweet. Sweet. I I guess it's And that's all the smell events here today. Thanks for joining. How do you like it, Michael? It was good, it was good. I think it's my favorite. Yeah. Probably the popcorn one. Popcorn? It was a good one. I like the churro, personally. Churro, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say the gumball. It got me. It was sour. Um, And one of them needs to be removed. For sure the hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. That was actually 
horrible. Nasty. It was literally being boozled with my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Who decided that? And how did they make it smell like that? That's so true. I wonder, because the sweet ones, you would think, I mean, how do you make it? Sugar. But hot dogs? Hot they dog? must have ground hot dogs back there. Someone's in there, like in, <laughs> in the bottom, and every time you walk up, they like wiggle a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was strong. Emily and I, whenever we're in Magic Kingdom, we just walk whatever direction both of us decide to walk. Michael is our tour guide today. We were gonna go to the People Mover, and he's like, let's go through Tron. What a good idea. The castle looks cool right now. The lightning's coming. Carousel of Progress, one of my favorite shows ever. It has new seats now. Update, new seats for Carousel of Progress. Love that show. We'll see. We haven't tried them out yet, but we'll know at some point. We'll always have another day here. I bet you can't tell what we're doing now. It's a mandatory stop at the Magic Kingdom. The People Mover! The next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. because fireworks are gonna start in 20 minutes and we're scared. Yeah. We're getting out of here. Michael's leading the way. He knows all the routes that we have to take, so. You uh, Not anymore. <laughs> we're old. We are old. Tired. We're washed. They closed off our exit route through the purple wall, so now we're finding an alternate route. Hopefully we don't get smushed in the crowds. We got this. I see the flow moving, it'll be all right. Uh, until we get stopped. Hopefully we can go through Market Street. Yeah. Do they do that anymore? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Every single person we passed has said Michael. He's famous. He is famous. More famous than oh. us. Oh, oh, we're with like... him! <laughs> no. Michael's famous! Apparently they're redoing the Plaza restaurant as well. Lots of updates here at the Magic Kingdom, might I just add. We're making our way down Main Street, and this is where anxiety stemmed in me as a child. Yes. No, I'm not kidding. There was one time me and my dad and my sister stayed in Magic Kingdom for the fireworks, and we were exiting the park with everyone. I think that made me, in turn, have claustrophobia. But. I'm okay now. I guess I'm recovered. I really did fireworks because I never remember this as a kid. I never remember, but I don't remember much. <laughs> I, I really don't remember much. Ever? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that is the end of our vlog. We made it out. We're heading to the monorail now. Ferry boat in, monorail out. Just remember, where's Emily? I'm here. Just remember. You change the world when you change your mind. Bye-bye from Miss American Sky. Bye.